It's been pretty crazy. As most of you already know, I received my dome yesterday. I have it in the garage, and today I'm gonna put together the stand. It came right after I filmed the unboxing video yesterday, so I didn't get a chance to put it in that video. So Tico and I are gonna sit there. We're gonna film the video. It's nice and hot today, so maybe as soon as I get this done, maybe jump in the pool and make some pizzas tonight. Stay tuned, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If I didn't already tell you in the video yesterday, this thing's crazy heavy. It doesn't look like it. It weighs at least around 100 pounds. So don't try to pick this up by yourself. It's got some pretty heavy duty handles on this side and that side. So get somebody to help you carry it to where you're gonna install it and then put it together. So far, it's been about a half hour. It really, besides carrying the box out here, it's been a one person job. Lifting the box again, like I mentioned, it's a two person job. You don't wanna hurt yourself. About a half hour in, I'm kinda of taking my time too. Got most of the bracing done. We just need to put the side braces on, get the wood and then the side shelves on, and then it should be ready. So I'm guesstimating it's gonna take me less than an hour to do the whole thing. When tightening all the bolts up, I would recommend just kind of half tightening them up, go around in a circle. I tightened that one up, this one up, and then by the time I got to this one, it had twisted just enough where I couldn't get this bolt in, so I had to go back and loosen things up. So kind of tighten them up halfway and then just keep going around until you're done. Okay, now I'm gonna put the side tables together. The directions don't say to use this, but you have to tighten these bolts up. So you'll use this little wrench with the bigger side on the inside, and then you use the hex screwdriver on this side, tighten them up until they basically stop turning. You'll notice they're lock washers, so it's pretty self-explanatory. That makes them nice and secure, but still gives enough give where you can pull the table out and fold it. Okay, before I go get the oven, I'm gonna have to find my son. Hopefully it will help me lift it out because it, it weighs a lot. I think it weighs around 150 pounds. So you're gonna need somebody to help you lift it up. You need to put this little piece, it's like a little plastic screw thing. You need to put this right here before you lift the oven up. There's a little recessed piece. So set that down in there like that. It's also a good idea to fold the side shelves down so when you're pulling the oven around, you don't have to worry about those. It, make sure you put this in a safe spot. This is the little piece that goes up on the top of the stand. I put it up there and it's fallen off and I've dropped it like 10 times, so it's gonna be very easy to lose. So keep that in your pocket until you're ready to put the oven on. My son was kindly enough to leave his video games and volunteer to help me. Thank you. So the important thing is, here's the oven, is take your time. Remember, like they always say, bend down, don't lift up with your back, lift your legs. Make sure this is here. This little piece is recessed down in that little hole. Each four, one of the four little feet of the oven are sit in this little recessed session right here, like one, two, three, four. Make sure there's nothing else on here. This is gonna be the fun part, trying to get this thing up on top. If he was about six inches taller, it'd be easier. 
This is why it was important to leave those handles on the side. I think those are gonna be easier. Okay. Now we need to screw it on. So that little plastic thing we set on the base at the beginning, before we set the oven on, this screws up from the underneath into it to kind of secure it. Let's see if we can find the, the thing. Maybe. Right there. I don't know if you can see that, barely. Okay, I don't know if you can see the little spacer that I put in. That's it right there where the wrench is touching. See how it spins around freely? So you put this screw in from the bottom into the spacer and it just, you can't tighten it. So you can't actually get it into the screw hole into the bottom of the oven. So I'm going to try to wedge this in to add a little friction so I can tighten it. Kind of use this wrench and kind of push on it just to screw the screw in to get it into the bottom of the oven. There we go, that worked. I think the best way to do that, you need to screw this up through the bottom before you put the oven on, screw it up just a little bit into the spacer until it goes out of the top of the spacer. So when you set the oven on, you can just put this right into the hole in the bottom of the oven. If not, the way it the direction said it doesn't really work. You can leave a comment, ask me a question in the comments if you can't get it hooked on when you get your oven. So I've got it in the spot where I want. After moving it around, I suggest going around and tightening things up a little bit. Like these bolts kind of loosened up a little bit just from jiggling it around with all the weight on it. So I'd recommend tightening and at least all the frame ones up a little bit. Final touch is to put these little hooks on. Test it out with gas first. So I'm going to put this over here. This is to help keep any stuff getting in the burner a little bit, just a little edge, and then put the puck over the ventilation wood hole. And I'll just get a rag. I'm gonna clean this off. There's a lot of dust on it. Get this thing fired up. I found out what this little Allen key was for. There's a bracket on the back. You can take these four screws off. I evidently need to put a battery in so the ignition works. So I'll be doing that. Okay, spent the last five minutes trying to shove a double A battery into the igniter compartment, like it says, specifically double A, but that compartment will not hold a double A, so. I went back and got a triple A battery and that seemed to work fine and igniter now appears to work. Hear it clicking, that's a pilot light. Now we can hook the gas up. So mental note, it is not double A, you'll need a triple A battery to get the igniter to work. So this is slightly different, this regulator, than a standard regulator. It has a quick release instead of just the typical screw. Like Normally for a gas grill, it has just these on both ends. So this is just a quick release. So you just, if you're not familiar with this, you just pull them down and click in. Let me get this rubber cap off. Very simple, it's actually easier. You just go like this, pull the sides down, push it in, and it's locked in place. Let's get the gas, we'll screw that in and get this thing lit. It says to push in, you hear the click, that's the pipe light. Let the gas fill in and then turn it gently to the left to 90 degrees. There we go. Okay, so now to cure the oven, this is high. We need to turn this all the way to low. I guess that's as low as it goes. That's as low as it goes. So we're gonna let that go for 30 minutes to cure the oven. So we got everything put together, assembled on the stand. I have the gas burner going to cure it for 30 minutes on low. Looks great. Put some wood in there. 
So the next thing we'll do is try that out. Tonight I'm just gonna do a quick test pizza. Okay, the 30 minute cure is over. I cranked it up to high. It'll be in Celsius when you get it. So what you do is you take this out, unscrew that, and there's a little switch from Celsius to Fahrenheit. You just flip that. And then this is just a magnet, it just clips right back in. Look at the flames. It rolling, it's pretty cool. Also trying out my new peel. This is the big peel for the oven. It's time you put it all the way to the back. I mean, you only have this. I mean, the little peel, the handle stopped right there, so you really couldn't put a pizza all the way in the back. I may try it too. I don't know if I can. Let's put it over here. Make sure it's sliding around. Well, you've seen my custom made turning peel. I think it's pretty awesome, isn't it? See the flames going through. All right. Oh, this is so much more room than the rock box. It's crazy having a lot of room to turn. I'm definitely not used to having this much room. Okay, let's go check it. Look at that. Almost done. Okay, I think that one's done. Turned out pretty good. There we go, look at that one. That turned out pretty good. Nice spotting. Let's get this other one in. Clean some of the simoline off. Got a little too much simoline on the bottom of that one. Okay, let's try to do it no hands this time. Ready? Look at that. Ready? Right in the oven. Let it go about 30 seconds. Again, it's crazy. I'm not used to having such a big oven. You have so much room. Next time, I promise I'm gonna to try to put two of this size pizza in. These, this is about 10 inches. I usually barely have enough room to turn the pizza. That's pretty cool. That burner is amazing. Puts out crazy amount of heat. It's already at almost 900 degrees. All right. Got almost a minute. Let's check the bottom. Yeah, it's almost done. Done too. All in all, the inaugural dome cook turned out great. It was great to get the dome set up. Finally got the burner going. 
I bought a brand new tank just to test this out and there was, the valve was broken and it wasn't working. It was driving me nuts. Had some battery issues. It, the manual says double A, it takes triple A. Figured all that out. Made a couple great pizzas, just quick ones out of some frozen dough. Look at them, they turned out awesome. This is a great oven. So much different than the rock box. So much room in there. Next time, I think I can get two of these size in there. So I'm gonna try that next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. There's gonna be a lot more to come. If you have any questions, concerns, shoot me a comment. I'll try to answer as many questions as I can. I hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned. There's gonna be a lot of great stuff to come. You guys have a good night.